Hi everyone, I'm Sinray9 and welcome back to Let's Play Lunar Silver Star Story Complete. So, let's go try to find this spring that Nash was talking about. Behold, the magic city of Vane. Oh, a neat floating city. The magic city of Vane circles around the goddess tower in an endless protective orbit. It's said to shield the goddess Athena from harm. Hmm. And this must be that spring you were talking about? Hi. Just how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? I really want to know. That's not me, you idiot. It's a dumb owl that does that. Jeez. <laughs> I wonder how many licks it does take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. I'm sure there's several factors, like the size of the Tootsie Pop, because I bet they're not all the same. Anyway. Who are you? Wait. You're Nash, the star pup pupil of Galen. I knew I was becoming famous. This is almost embarrassing. Almost. May I use the spring of transmission, sir? Of course, but that doesn't apply to these others. They're my friends, sir. I assure you they are most worthy of ascending to Vane. I'm sorry, Nash, but they're not. Rumors abound that the Magic Emperor himself roams the land. Thus, Lamia Asua has placed quite stringent rules into effect. The only people allowed to use the spring, other than citizens of Vane, are those who obtain an application for the Magic Guild from Vesia. Garcia? I didn't realize those rumors were being taken so seriously. I guess you aren't as famous as you thought, Nash. Still your tongue, cat. Not even Gallia himself would defy the word of Lamia. Vasia lives in Athena's shrine, at the foot of the mountains to the west, a short walk away. Uh, it must have been that castle we saw. Yeah, this must be it. And you can see Vane floating around. Which is really cool. Hi. This is the great shrine to the goddess of beauty and love. What is your business here? We'd like to rest. We wish to pray. You said we'd like to rest. Uh, you get healed. Ah, I feel much better. Thanks, lady. Uh, priestesses of Athena are known for their uh, healing capabilities. We owe our very lives to the kindness of goddess Athena. Athena bathes our world in a light of beauty and love. Goddess of beauty and love, huh? I bet she's a real cutie. That's probably a good guess. Considering she's the goddess of beauty and love. Goddess Athena is the source of all kinds of magical power. If Athena's power weakens, the world will be shrouded in darkness and monsters will rule the land. Don't worry, as long as Vane is in the sky, Athena shall never weaken. I hope you're right, Nash. Jessica's still an apprentice, but she took off from the shrine to see her friends. She would make an excellent priest if she applied herself instead of being irresponsible. Oh, that's right, Jessica is here. Jessica's a lot different than her father described her. Uh, she's probably just really headstrong. But yeah, Jessica's supposed to be here, but it seems she left. Hmm. Jessica looked so happy when she left. It struck me as strange since she was only going to see someone she called a childhood friend. Hmm. Like a longtime friend? Alex, I'll speak with Facia. Wait right here. I wonder what Facia looks like, Alex. If she works for Athena, she must be cute. Are you blushing, Alex? <laughs> Good day. 
day to you all. I, Amphasia, head priestess of the Temple of the Goddess. I have received word that you are on a journey to become the new Dragon Master, Alex. I pray that you choose to stay in vain and become the guardian of Althena, for as you know, we haven't had a Dragon Master since the days of Dine came to an end. I like the slight echo effect in that, because you're in a big cathedral type place, so that's mostly empty, so you would get that kind of little bit of echo effect in the voice, so I like that. Since Dragon Master Dine's passing, no one, no one man has proved worthy of the title. Perhaps you would be better served to study the ways of magic in vain, Alex. That is a much more certain path to success than trying to become a dragon master. Yeah, but Alex is set on becoming a dragon master. It's what he wants. Alex doesn't want to enter the magic guild. He's looking for the three remaining dragons. Quirks in him. Becoming a dragon master is much more difficult than you might imagine, young Alex. Again, why not stay in vain for a while? See all the guild has to offer. You might find a career in magic more, more rewarding and much less dangerous. Again, sorry, but Alex wants to become the next Dragon Master. He wants to be like his his hero, Dragon Master Dine. And don't forget that two of the four heroes call Vane their home. She's right, Alex. You'll never find a more exciting place than Vane. And while you'll never be as skilled as, with magic as I am, I'm sure you'd enjoy learning it nonetheless. I don't know, Alex. At least think about it, Alex. Please accept this application form and at least visit Vane. Oh, that we're going to do. Thanks. It's heartening to know that even as the vile tribe moves close to our borders, there are brave heroes such as yourself willing to protect us. Take care, Alex. I wish you success on whichever path you choose to travel. Excuse me, Luna, was it? I'm told that your singing is absolutely wonderful. There's nothing the goddess loves more than a beautiful song. You must return and sing for me someday soon. Uh, I'd be honored, Facia, but I still need a lot of practice first. I look forward to your return, Luna, as well as the sweet sound of your voice. Oh, well, maybe Luna will have to do that sometime. As for us, right now, we're going to head to Vane. So, back to the spring. Now that we have this application. See, nothing to it. Hello again, Nash. Do you have the application for your friends? Of course. Here you go. Hey, there we go. Time to go to Vane. Thank you, Nash. I assume you've told your friends of the trial. Wait, what? The first time you travel to Vane, you'll be tested in the Cave of Trial. It's basically an entrance exam to keep magic-fearing peasants out of Vane. Anyway, I have to run. What? Aren't you going with us, Nash? <laughs> I'm an apprentice of Galleon, remember? I have things to do. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll do fine. I'll be waiting for you at the Magic Guild. Good luck! Yeah, yeah. Fine, just leave, Nash. It's all you do, apparently, is leave. <clears throat> anyway. Alex, you don't know much magic. How are we going to do this? <laughs> Alex is good with the sword, and I can use my songs. We'll be fine, no? Let's go, Alex. Vane awaits. So, let's start the trial. This is the Cave of Trial. This labyrinth is a sacred place for testing your magical strength. Thus, the use of healing or other items in the cave is forbidden. You must survive using nothing but your own abilities. When you've defeated enough monsters and exited the other side, the trial is concluded. That's right! My number, number one tip to keep healed between battles? can't do that. You can't use any items. Not starlights, not the angel's tear that you have, nothing. 
So, be wary of that. Uh, the way you're going to heal is straight through Luna's magic. The trial will end when you exit the other side of the cavern. You look too weak to continue. Listen, this is against trial policy, but I'll use my magic to erase your exhaustion. So this guy will heal you. Take advantage of that. And trust me, I'm going to. I suggest you do as well. Uh, Death Shrooms. Let's see just how well they stand up. Not very well. Alex can one-shot them, thankfully. Luna? Oh, nice crit, Luna. Alright. Well, we got out of that battle. 18 EXP, 201 silver. Not bad. As long as Alex can one-hit the stuff in here, I think we can get through all right. Four death shrooms. Uh, we're going to get to see how hard they hit back. One, two. And Luna. I uh, can't kill without a crit. Ah, they hit for 23. So, just a few hits and Alex goes down. Now, remember, Alex is wearing iron equipment. So, it's not like he's a slouch in the defense department. So, we're going to have to heal with Luna. Now, Luna does have quite a bit of MP, so... Alright, new enemy. Two new enemies. Slumber Moth and Gunfoot. Let's see how well Alex does against the Moth. Alright, again, he can one-shot the Moth. That's good. And he's faster than them, too, but Luna is not. And Luna can kill a moth. That's good. Uh, sorcery light. Oh, that hits both, so that's no good. I ah, couldn't quite get there. Well, he'll get to go again. Another sorcery light. Wow, and the gunfoot has quite a bit of HP. Alright, 25 experience and 321 silver. Pretty good. Yeah, it says gun foot, but he didn't shoot it out of his foot. Wouldn't it be like gun eye be more appropriate? Uh, 250 silver in the treasure chest. Yeah, I'm just saying. Uh, I think it would be more appropriate if he was gun, you know, gun eye or something. Laser eye. Uh, for slumber moths. Play see, the battles aren't too difficult. Oh, you put Alex to sleep. <laughs> Which means you do a lot of damage to him when you hit. 24 EXP, 284 silver. Pretty good. Watch out for sleep powder. If it hits. Because we've seen just how dangerous being asleep can can be for the enemies when we use Temptation Song, well, it'd be just as dangerous when you're put to sleep. Uh, yeah, I want to kill the Slumber Moths. Oh, didn't quite kill it. Looks like 20 is the number. Because she killed with 20, but did not kill with 19. Uh, we'll have Luna heal herself. Okay, this should do it. Yep. Yep. It will be much tougher from here on. You better prepare yourself. I can heal your injuries once, and only once, if you desire. So, I'm going to save this guy. Not yet. Return here when you desire to heal your wounds. 
So keep that in mind. So what I'm going to do is save him, but I'm going to show off a few of the moves. I wish y'all were a little closer together. I believe the mushrooms are weak to explosion staff. Because the fire, like the fire type element it has. So keep that in mind. Again, try not to use too much MP in here. Just because you can't even use starlights. So, however, there is that healing guy. Just keep that in mind. And remember, you can only use them once. Plus, just swinging does a pretty good job of the enemies in here. And swing. Ah, Alex gains a level. 3 HP, 3 MP, 2 attack, 1 defense, 2 agility, 2 wisdom, 1 magic endurance. Hopefully that'll, that'll hit him even more. Or help him hit even more. Uh, another mushroom. I don't believe you have to kill all the enemies in here. But I suggest you do. You could use the extra EXP. Plus you have the healing person. As you can see, you can go through the enemies fairly well. You just have to heal a few times. With Luna, so... There you go. I don't think that's anything. Uh, the nice thing about the Cave of Trials is that it's pretty pretty linear there are a few twists and turns there but it's nothing that that hard to, to figure out uh, again with the slumber moss oh good sleep powder because <laughs> that could have killed Luna Cut a little bit of a break there. Uh, try to keep your HP pretty high. Let's see, 30 EXP. Luna should be close to a level as well. Let's check real quick. Uh, 46, yeah. Ah, oh, new enemy. Ice Mongrel with three death shrooms. Okay, we'll hit the death shrooms. And the Ice Mongrel escapes. <laughs> uh, think of the Ice Mongrel if you're a veteran of the Death Spore. Ah, poison. Uh, think of the Ice Mongrel as a metal slime. If you're a veteran of the Dragon Quest series, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, if you're not, basically it's really, really fast and it's really, really hard to kill. But if you can... You get quite a bit of EXP and quite a bit of money. So just just something to keep in mind. There's a few of those ice mongrels in here, I believe. I think there's more than one. A sorcery light? Yeah, how'd I guess? Sorcery light again? Oh no. I'm fine with that. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Heal yourself. Go ahead and heal Alex. Another enemy. But overall, the fights aren't 
too tough. You just have to worry about getting worn down in this place because you can't use your herbs. See, that kills you. Yeah. Oh, you just... <laughs> okay, Gunfoot. What? <laughs> If you're gonna sorcery light, why not sorcery light right there and get Alex and Luna? That was weird. Uh, speaking of Luna, plus four HP, plus six MP, one attack, one defense, one agility, two wisdom, two magic endurance. Hopefully that one agility will get her to be just quicker than the moths. Kill Alex. Ah, church chest. Another 250 silver. Hi. Hey, you guys must be newcomers. I can help you get out of here, out of the caves. All you have to do is ask me how. Alex, if he's such a genius, why is he still down here? Don't trust him. Take my advice, and I'll have you out of here in an instant. Alex, like I said before, this guy's full of it. Not brings up a good point, though. Hello. Place allow myself to introduce myself. This cave's not my bag, baby. Would you swinging cats know the way out? Please allow myself to correct yourself. I'm not a cat. Corp, me. Your cat flies and talks. Smashing, baby. Uh. You say you're not a cat and all, but... You like fish, and you said you were a cat at the beginning, I believe. At the beginning of the, the game. Anyway, I've been told about how confusing the cave was, but I won't give up now. I'm going to become a great wizard and make my parents proud of me. I'm sure they already are. You're an inspiration. Yeah, don't give up, guy. I'm sure you'll find the way out of here. Huh, nothing over here. Oh, fly! Hi! The next level of the cave has monsters much stronger than the ones you faced so far. Do you need magical refreshment for the final stage of your journey? Uh, no, I think I'm okay. My offer still stands. Return to me if you find yourself in need of healing. Hi! I just want to study magic. I'm scared stiff of this place. Wait! I know. I'll cast a spell on myself to be brave. Why didn't I think of this sooner? <laughs> uh, if you have that spell, I'm sure it would really come in handy. Oh, monster, right off the bat. Uh, nothing we haven't seen before now. I'll take out Slumber Moth and a Death Shroom. Oh, good job, Luna. You beat out the moth. Sorcery light. Of course, Alex gets hit as well. Okay, we're going to have to heal Alex, or he'll get knocked out by the next sorcery light. Or just regular attack. Yeah, regular attack. 24, and... There we go. 31 EXP, 384 silver. Cool. Okay. Heal up the party. Bones. Oh, here we go. There's more than one. Another ice mongrel. See if we can kill it. Interested. Ah, it stayed this time. And did a whole one damage. Yes. Just what I like to see. Ah, death spore. 
So you only did one damage to the Ice Monger. What I suggest is using a move, like Explosion Staff. Ah, good, to stick around. Ah, the mushrooms are weak to Explosion Staff. And that's more than enough to kill the Ice Mongrel, I bet. It's got high defense, so you'll need a big move like that. However, 147 experience and 1,101 silver. That's what killing an Ice Mongrel can get you. It gets you a lot more EXP and silver. What do we have? Let's see, that's the way to the bones, bones, person. Ho oh, there, adventurers. I've been living in this cave since I began my trial five years ago. Haven't found my way out, but I've grown quite comfortable here. I really don't care if I ever pass the trial. <sighs> Let's not lose hope like this poor soul, Alex. Agreed. Hey, another 250 silver. Are you sensing a theme here <laughs> with the treasure chest? Let's see. Kill the fly in death's room. Or fly, moth. Ah, oh, you didn't outspeed at that time, Luna. Sorcery light. And now we know how this fight's gonna go. <laughs> Why? Why do you just sorcery light Alex? I don't understand. Why wouldn't you want to hit both? Silly monster. And Alex and Luna. Another ice mongrel. Two ice mongrels. It's explosion staff. Oh, that one ran. Oh, they both ran. Yeah! Oh, you got explosion staffed. You are utterly destroyed, <laughs> mushroom. <laughs> Spore. Mushroom. Okay, we need to end this battle. Explosion staff. Yeah. There we go. 30 XP and 335 silver. Now you're wondering why am I using the MP when I'm the person that says, by the way, 250 silver. When I'm the person that says, uh, save your MP for bosses. Well, I wanted to try to hit the ice mongrel. Hi. Alex, do you see that? That thing is blocking the exit. Hmm, defeating that creature must be the final trial. And you get to back away. Now, fair warning. If you try to walk that way again, you trigger the boss fight. I remember that distinctly. Uh, yes, please. Here you are, adventurers. Leave here refreshed and ready for the challenges ahead. That's why I use the MP, because I'm going to <laughs> go back there. Uh, almost 30 minutes for this episode. I could do the whole thing. Well, we'll fight the boss next time. You know, it's kind of an LP or thing. That way you come back and watch the next episode. But... I'll let the episode keep running. I'm gonna save first, just in case. Don't want to redo all that again. And let's go. If we don't take him down, we can't go up. So feel free to head back and heal. And then get ready to fight Truffle Troubler. We'll start out how we typically start out. Vigor. And Cascade Song. 
can give Alex a lot more attack power and defense. Mad Spark. Ah, hits both. It's a pain. Okay, with that, we'll begin the sword dance routine. I think I'm gonna Cascade Song Alex one more time. 293. He's weak to the sword dance. He might also be weak. Ah, uh, it doesn't increase attack anymore. But the extra defense could come in handy. Flash bolt. Never mind, because this guy uses magic. Good to know. I uh, will heal Alex. But he is weak to sword dance. So buff up your attack and lay into him with it. Uh, he might also be weak to explosion staff. But... I would use Sword Dance, you get more uses out of it, and it still hits pretty strong. 286. And we're going to use every single last bit of Alex's MP. And we'll have Luna Tranquil Song. So don't forget to go back and uh, heal, because this guy is is pretty strong. As you can see, he's flat out negating Luna's healing. And Luna will need all the MP she can get, because there'll be times she has to heal both Alex and herself, thanks to Mad Spark. Okay, last sword. Is that enough? It sure is. Just enough. 380 experience points. Whew. So just enough MP for Alex. If you buff up your attack. It may still be enough if you don't, but there you go. You know that works. We won, Alex. Did we pass the trial? I hope that was the last monster. I barely had the strength to stay in the air. Let's head for the exit, exit, Alex, and let's hope for daylight. Uh, agreed. Just in case. Heal up. Alex is out of MP. Before we head up. Oh, another ice mongrel. That could be bad, now that I think about it. Uh, five death shrooms, two ice mongrels. Alex is out of MP. Uh, temptation song. See how many we can put to sleep. All of them! Sweet, except the ice mongrel. But the shrooms is really what I wanted to fall asleep. Great! <laughs> oh, it escaped. That's a shame. Well, at least we can take care of these shrooms pretty easily. There we go. 30 experience points, 335 silver. Alex is level 16. For HP, 2 MP, and attack, 2 defense, agility, 2 wisdom, 1 magic endurance. And range increased by 1. Awesome. Help Alex get to to the enemy when it walks across the screen like the gunfoot was. A healing ring if you go this way. Uh, who has it? Alex does. Recovers HPs. That's what gives water and wind attack defense. We'll have Alex put on the healing ring. Oh, that's right. He can wear wear two rings. Okay, well, he can wear the flame ring and the and the healing ring. Uh, is it as you walk? Or I think it gives you a uh, regen in battle, where you regain a, a small amount of hit points every every round. I believe that's how it works. Uh, it's been a while. <laughs> 
There's that person. As you can see, that's where we came in at. Now we're just on the upper floor. Hi. Hello and welcome. You've reached the end of the Cave of Trial. As new members of the Magic Guild, you may begin your studies in vain. You may also use items again. Good luck to you and go with the blessing of the goddess. Yay. So you can now, oh, not here. When you leave, you can use items again. <laughs> it's just in that place. Uh, like here. Yeah, there you go. Now you can use items again. But we're now in vain. And we're going to begin exploring vain next time. So, until then, hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun with the episode. I'm Cinder A9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.